say that uh, a person makes their own way in life, but that's not always true. It seems that circumstance tends to uh, offer choices, and a person has to select between those choices. Well, I've got a choice to make. It seems the uh, house probably isn't going to sell by the end of uh, the year, and I really only have about a month left to do that. So I have to make this decision. Do I move back into the house? Or do I close up the house and take the motor home south for the winter? And then come back in the spring and see if I can try again. Now, if I move back into the house, there will have to be expenses since I'll have to uh, replace everything that I've gotten rid of. Uh, if I take the motor home south, I'll have the expenses of not only maintaining the house basics, that is, as well as the fuel to drive the motor home. The uh, food and energy costs be about the same. Of course, this uh, messes up my plan A, which was going to be the better option of all. So I've got to uh, think of a plan B. And my plan B is to select between the house or the motorhome. Of course, there hasn't been much going on lately. Um, the house is pretty much ready for someone to move in. And the motorhome is pretty much uh, set for me to drive off. Um, I did have the transmission check and the uh, differential, of course. Uh, don't want to have any problems with that. And uh, I've uh, found a way of attaching my uh, extension ladder on the back of the motorhome. That way it won't fall off or get stolen, hopefully. And since I've been pretty much living in the motorhome for some time now, I've pretty much gotten a good idea as to how I'm going to live. I've done some various experiments on uh, living in the motorhome, and I think I've got an idea as to what I'm going to put in my refrigerator and stock up on, and what I'm going to be doing to keep myself from getting bored. But of course it comes back to that decision. Now of course, this, since this is going to mess up my financial plan, I'm going to have to figure a way of doing all this as inexpensively as possible. Of course, uh, I doubt if I can find any camping places that are absolutely free. At least don't that don't have any additional charges to them, like uh, having to drive distance to pick up water and and fuel and food, or things like uh, dump stations and uh, of course showers. Of course, I've got a shower in the motorhome. Although I was kind of hoping that along the way I'd uh, find some free. Uh, showers with high pressure, which uh, make things a little nicer. And of course the environment would have to be cool, because uh, electricity costs money, and that means running the air conditioner, which I would uh, like to get away from. Just running the fan, keeping the uh, interior cool. So that means heavy dependence on my solar. Now, of course, there are plenty of places where I can boondock using solar, but I have to make sure that the uh, temperature doesn't get too high or too cold, because running the furnace takes a lot of electricity and a lot of propane. And as anyone in a motorhome can tell you, chasing the weather can be a little expensive sometimes, especially if you have to drive a long distance to get to warm weather or you have to drive up a hill to reach cool weather. But 
those are some of the decisions I have to make, some of the things I have to consider. So hopefully in the month or so from now, I made those decisions and uh, executed them. But if you've gotten any ideas, let me know.